tough to find a seat right now. 49,000 at sold out Cyclone Stadium in Ames. It is an artificial turf field, but Keith, with the clouds, we're going to have a nice, comfortable temperature down on the field, which is going to be advantageous to both sides of players. Jamie Cole will kick it off for the Cyclones. He's a true freshman with a very strong leg. He's been putting him in the end zone. We'll find out if he does it here to kick off against the Hawkeyes. So Dan McCarney wants to put his defense on the field, wants to see if they can shut down that powerful Hawkeye offense. And this is Tim Dwight. He's going to take it out of the end zone. Oh, and he is hammered at the 15-yard line by Greg Boyd, the big offensive line. It's Quaker, Goff, Wigman, Purdy, and Verba. The backs and receivers, my goodness, they're an explosive set. Sherman, Shaw, Filer, Dwight, Slutsker's the tight end, and Demo Odom. First and 10, ball on the 15, the give to Filer. Not much there. Let's set the Iowa State defense. Hudson, Strait, Moore, and Anderson, the defensive secondary. Up front, Ruffalo, Poots, Schoen, Provenza coming off a strong game. Spikesma, Sanders, the leading tackler from last year, and he starts with a tackle here. And Michael Cooper, second about six. Cedric Shaw. Didn't look like there was anything there, Dave, and he finds yards. A stop here would mean so much for Iowa State's defense. The give to Shaw. First down. Tackle by Hudson. If you want to be concise in your assignments, you want to make sure you know where you're going. It's Shaw wide on the pitch. He's hit hard, but he picked up a few yards. Dewan Anderson and Mike Linkovich, a couple of hard hitters for the Hawkeyes, showing it there. Shaw up and over near a first down. We got some laundry out on the field. Usually when you see a flag like that, it's an indi indication of some holding somewhere back in the offensive line. It's been mostly Cedric Shaw. This time to get to Filer. Bounces off a tackle, and he's got some room. Filer. Very close to going all the way. Rudy Ruffalo. Hawkeyes nearing midfield. You're not going to bring Filer down with an arm tackle. Pitch to Shaw. He slipped down trying to make a cut. Cedric Shaw is sometimes overlooked if a thousand yard runner can be overlooked. You hear about Banks and Dwight and Guy and Sherman, but Shaw is a terrific running back and he shows it here. He's got a little daylight down to the 39 yard line. Shaw, only the second sophomore at Iowa to gain 1,000 yards, the other being Tony Stewart. First and 10, and again the gift to Shaw, but Angelo Provenza brings up second and 50, 15. The ball is on the 44. The pitch again to Shaw. He's getting a workout. Outside, cuts back in. Jason Poots brings him down with some help. This has been a long drive, and here's the big play. It's third and three. Sherman back to pass for the first time. He's looking for Odom's. Got him. They say he had his feet in bounds, and it's a first and goal for Iowa. Hendrick Shaw has been the workhorse. He's had seven carries, 37 yards. And it's Shaw again, up and over, and he'll get off the ground and get the yards any way he can. He they're going to try to make it five in the red zone, and Shaw gets airborne again. He's darn close to the goal line. Third down one. The give again to Shaw. He's outside. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Cedric Shaw earned that touchdown. There's a difference between jumping over the top and just waltzing around the corner. You should see the blocking he got on this. moral victory for the Cyclones there. They did block the extra point, and that gets the crowd on its feet. Dan McCartney, he's still fired up. It's going to be fun to watch today. It's Iowa 6, Iowa State zip. 84 yards of field. Very impressive offensive drive. A little bit of daylight that time. It didn't even look like a straight kick either. That was Brian Hurley on the kick, and then Todd Romano kicking off for the Hawkeyes. We get our first look at Troy Davis, and only about a yard or two. 
the offensive line for the clones, Heights, Agafa, Scartfi, uh, Kanapka, and Cone. Glad you're saying that. <laughs> yeah. Backs and receivers is Doxson starting at quarterback. Davis, Guggenheim, DiBiase, Williams, and Harachik. And of course, Troy Davis has been the offense for Iowa State. He has 471 yards, second leading rusher in the nation. He actually has the most yards, but the other back has uh, only played one game. Doxson slips down and not the start Todd Doxson wanted. The other TD is going to have to have some passing. It's third and 18, and this would look to be a passing situation, although you never know when Davis will get it. Doxson is passing. Receiver is open. Horacek with the reception, and the fans are on their feet. Ball at midfield, first and 10, and now it's Davis. Davis. He only needs a little bit of room, and he will exploit it. Defensive front for the Hawkeyes. It's Hilgenberg. DeVries, Bickham, Diaco, Rollins, LaFleur, and Innes Inge. Checking the backfield, Coates, Jackson, Robinson, and Atkins, all four of them are from the state of Texas. Davis in the eye. Rodney Guggenheim up front doing blocking more than running. Davis. And that was a handoff to Davis, and it looks like the... You start looking for some not, not rinky-dink plays, but some play-action pass. Davis with three carries and five yards. Doxson looking to pass again. The receiver is there. Can't quite hang on. Kind of angling over. This is one of his better ones. Kind of angled to the sidelines. Got a nice roll in the Cyclones. Fighting Odom's out wide right now. You got Shaw in the backfield. This time he stopped. And that's great. Michael Cooper. Second nine for Sherman. The Hawks are out of timeouts. The give again to Shaw. He bounces off that first hit so well and where it needs to be. No, he doesn't mind at all. He's out of Logan Magnolia, one of the captains on this Cyclone team. The give to Filer. They had him, but he bounced off. Now he's in the open. Saving Filer's only carried a few times, but he's piled up the yardage. We have another flag. That's our second. At that to point. Snap. Both start on the offense. Five yards. Still first down. Sherman with the pitch to Shaw. Shaw keeps finding room, and it's taken four or five people to bring him down. You get the big kids running around out front. That really helps your backs. Shaw was pulling a plow of cyclones that time. He's not going down easily. Angelo Provenza, he's been in that backfield a couple of times. He's a tall kid, but he doesn't have a lot of lead in his pencil there at 207 pounds playing linebacker. Third and two, Sherman, straight drop back. He's in trouble, looks for a receiver, doesn't find anybody, overthrows. He's saying, give us the crowd, too. He's been really encouraging the crowd to give us a home field advantage. Kevin Wilson calls for a fair catch. He three receivers and a tight end. Doxson now calling an audible. Straight drop back. He's got Ed Williams in the flat. Williams trying to shake loose. He's still going. That's a first down. I guess so. Williams had 13 catches all of last year. He has nine already this season. Davis looking for room. Bust through it. Bust around a tackler and gains about seven yards on the play. And Raston Norris is in for Iowa State. Will Davis adjust some equipment? Norris. This is Norris with the ball looking for the first down, but a nice tackle by Ennis Inge. And a flag. Dead ball, personal foul on the offense, 15 yards. The down counts, it's third down. Davis is by himself in the backfield. Doxson with the draw to Davis. There's a lot of room, and he is through it in a hurry. And Davis is gone. The 20, the 15, touchdown, Davis. for 63 yards. Jamie Cole splits the uprights. And the crowd comes alive. The Cyclones are ahead 7-6. to six. I can't remember the last time Iowa State led in this game. Troy Davis, 63-yard touchdown. Troy Davis now has the best three games of rushing in Iowa State history. He has put together the best back 
to back to back games. And here's Tim Dwight. He's a game breaker too. And Dwight breaks the tackle. He's up to the 33. Was set up by the passing that the Cyclones were able to do. First and 10 Hawkeyes. Sherman will pass. And he throws it to Willie Dye. And Dewan Anderson pops him. Second down and 10. Ball on the 33. The pitch to Shaw. It's been working. And a whole gang of Cyclones. The Cyclones wanting to be in the game at the end of the first quarter. Not only are they in it, they're leading it. Third down and six for Iowa. Sherman looks the pass. The Vens are charging hard. Sherman, nice pass across the middle of Willie Guy, who cradles it down around the 49-yard line, and he, he brought that with him. First and 10, Sherman with the drop back again. He's looking deep. Heels, B.J. Spikesma. Save for the one run. The Hawkeyes have dominated this game. But Dan McCartney said, we, we can't match up with them personnel. we got to just find yeah. a way to win. This time it's Poots charging hard. Third down, 14. Sherman, back to pass. Sherman. Great play by Linkovich. You are not aggressive. The punt by Nick Gallery is going to find the... Look at the play by Dwight! Tim Dwight comes flying in. Did he pull it off? The referees no. are having a discussion. No. Came running back to the defense. They turned around. He was giving water to everybody. He's selling programs at halftime. Doxson is a very good runner, but this time he just barely makes it back. Second and 11. Doxson looking to pass again. He has Williams. And that's the Cyclone first down. Back very well connected that play. First and 10, and now it's Davis and the Hawkeyes pulling down in the backfield. So far, Doxson has been sharp. Give to Davis. And the Hawkeyes pulling down again. Two receivers down on the bottom of your screen. Doxson with a straight drop back. He slips on the turf and goes down. And he may have hurt himself. Boy, this can always be exciting. Dwight is deep for the Hawkeyes. Nice punt by Harris. Dwight is going to try to run with it. He fumbles it. Dwight smothers it back up for Iowa. Well, there's some indication from Iowa State. Oh, we got a rugby scrum down here. Uh, the Cyclones think they have it. There's the official signal. The ball goes back to Iowa State. Iowa State recovers. The Cyclones have an opportunity. Ball on the 33. It's first and 10. Guggenheim and Davis. This is Davis with Guggenheim out front. There's nothing there. Take advantage of the short passing route and an outside rollout passing game. Inside 10 minutes to go. Davis slips, but it almost helped him because it delayed the defenders for a second. It Davis has nine carries for 73 yards, 63 of them on the big play. Third and 12, Doxson looking for Williams. Got him! Williams down to the 10-yard line, and he just went up and took that away. Three catches, 34 yards for Williams. First and 10. Diaco, second down nine, ball on the 10. Doxson to Davis, a little bit of a hole. Slides through, but credit the Hawkeyes. He play, third down and eight. The Cyclones can get a first down. They'd rather find the end zone. Iowa wants to keep them out. Doxson rolls. And it's batted around by two or three different people. Atkins and Gibson both had a shot at the INT, but instead it's Jamie Cole, the true freshman, for a big field goal for the Cyclones. Right through the uprights, and Iowa State builds on its lead. The Cyclones take advantage of a rare Tim Dwight mistake, and it's Iowa State 10, Iowa 6. The stadium is rocking. Jamie Cole is kicking, and that ball almost goes through the uprights. Let's get this thing corrected, and let's start playing like the Hawkeyes are used to playing. First and 10, Matt Sherman is the quarterback. He keeps it, nice ball fake. Sherman is thinking big. Dwight is downfield, and a little bit of contact broken up.
Might have been one of those anybody's ball kind of contacts in the view of the official. Sherman drops back again. This time, he's in trouble. He throws it out to Filer. Great play by Sherman. And Filer, third down and four. The give to Shaw. He stops, but Shaw breaks out and spikes him. Pulls him down. He has a chance to be the all-time leading rusher at Iowa. In fact, barring injury, it would be hard for him not to become the Hawkeyes' all-time leading rusher. Sherman, he's thinking big again. Rashard Carter cannot hang on to it. And when the pass goes up, the Cyclones have had a couple of defenders there. Which is outstanding defense by the Cyclones. Second and ten. It's Shaw. Again, he breaks away from the first tackle. It's third and ten at the 35. Tim Dwight is the lone setback for Iowa. He's running a pass pattern. Sherman dumps it to him. He's in the open field, and Tim Dwight has the first down. He's won state championships in track. His initials are TB, playing in his hometown. What a great story Tim Dwight is. Sherman, Demo Odoms with the catch. Wave to family in the stands on that play. Great job by the offensive line. Shaw up the middle. He spins. Gets about four or five yards. The Hawkeyes have more depth than the Cyclones. They're just trying to wear them down. Sherman looking toward the end zone to Willie Guy. And that ball was thrown high. That's, that's a great statistic. See if they do it again. Third and six. The fake to Shaw. Sherman with a bullet to Sletzker, and he's open and rumbling. He shakes off a tackler, dives for the end zone, and he's all the way down to about the one-foot line. See, Great see job. Him, see him diving for the end zone, though? Sletzker could smell the goal line, and so can Rodney Filer. He is in the zone for the Hawkeyes. There's where Poise comes into play. He's going to come out for a two-point conversion. The Hawkeyes will go for two. They want the four-point lead. Sherman with a quick pass. Thrown over the head of Slutsker. They were not on the same page. The try is no good. After the try, we have a dead ball. Personal foul on the defense. It'll be assessed on the kickoff. So the penalty was not a factor in the play itself. But Iowa State is probably going to have some bad field position. The Hawkeyes are on top. 12 to 10. Ability and on their coaching staff, neither team wants that. So Todd Romano will kick it off and kick it way past the this Hawkeye defense is really closing in on him. Made some adjustments. It's Davis. He has some daylight. And he is so quick. He's getting to the linebacker. Linebacker. First and ten, Davis goes wide, shakes off a tackler, but we see the yellow flag on. So illegal motion on the offense, five yards, still first down. First and 15, Diaco threatens the blitz, he pulls back, and Doxson finds Williams again, a quick strike, and Williams, that's what he's doing well, he is running with that ball after he catches it. Yeah, he does, he looks like he's got all the tools. Doxson looks again, this time across the middle, but Doxson had some pressure on him, and but McCartney has said, we need Todd Doxson to beat the Hawkeyes, and Doxson has shown why McCartney has that faith in him. Quick strike to Horacek, and Chris Jackson is wrestling with him for possession. You can see exactly what happened on that play. Takes all the debate away. Mark Harris with a booming punt. Tim Dwight hangs on to this one, slips down on the turf. And Shaw capable of becoming the number one leading rusher they have. Shaw, the ball carrier. Shaw finds more room, and right on cue, Cedric Shaw. Hawkeye fans are awfully excited about this 1995 team. Think this could be one that goes to a big bowl game. They've got all the weapons, and there's a big one. Shaw, Cedric Shaw carrier. for three or four more yards. Well, every, free, every few years, Fry finds a way to get Iowa in the Rose Bowl, and some Hawkeye fans think that that could happen again this year, and there's certainly, he certainly has the gifts. Great arm, and he's back to pass. Back to pass. Looking downfield, he is 
is hit hard by Angelo Provenza. As the Hawkeyes are still on top, it's 12 to 10. Hayden Fry came out very at ease, smiling a lot, but we saw him get fired up a couple of times. It's been a great first half of football. A lot more to come. Just, this guy's in this game. And so are we. The second half and a booming kick by Todd Romano. And that guy can bring it. First and ten. Draw play to Davis. He's got room. About five yards. And if he had cut the other way. Second down and five. Todd Doxson is the quarterback. Again, the give to Davis. And he breaks a couple tackles. Look at him drag the Hawkeyes with him. Third straight game, he's been over 100. He was almost at 300 for the Ohio game. He said he dreamed the night before the game he would rush for 300 yards. His dream was only off by nine. Ronnie Davis, and this time the Hawkeyes don't bite. I think people are starting to put a little more emphasis in saying, well, Iowa's just going to walk away with it physically. Iowa State's conditioned team. May not have the same level of athleticism, but they do have conditioning. Doxon, look at the move. You know, there's no gain on that. But he looked like he got a little screen there. Third down and 10. Doxon in the pocket. The quick strike to Williams. He's open again. All the way down to the 39. About 6'5". He's a player. And... Troy Davis uh, slammed down by George Bennett. But there's some, there's some interesting comments on it. Second down and eight. Doxson play fake. The reverse to Horacek. He's on the corner. A lot of pressure ahead of him. All the way down to the 25. Horacek putting the ball on the outside hand as he runs the sideline. Good looking play by the sideline. Davis into the middle. It's a fumble. It's picked up. And Gibson gets into the 50. by an off a defensive tackle the ball goes into the air down on the turf picked up the return 67 yards Iowa State from way back was Jerome Henry first and ten for the Hawkeyes and back to the field second and nine about that AstroTurf from Hayden Fry when this is over. Ryan Driscoll holds for Brian Hurley. It'll be about a 29-yarder. No good! No good! And he missed it! Hurley pushed it off to the side, and the Cyclones take over, and Iowa... Just putting his ankle back together. Doxson hoping his ankle will stay together. We've seen a lot of injuries here at the start of the second half. Davis, oh, he is wrapped up and hit hard. Chris Jackson. Iowa may seem like they're down right now. They're still up in this ball game by a score of 12 to 10. And that's what counts in the end. And Doxson not noticeably limping. And it's Ed Williams. Williams flashes up on a slant pattern. Ed Williams, who just caught the pass, now on the bottom of your screen, is limping badly after being caught from behind. We'll see if he can run a pass pattern effectively. Ball thrown beyond Dennis DiBiase. It was behind him. Mark Harris has been having a fine day punting. This goes over to Willie Guy. He's got speed. Doesn't get a chance to use it there. Back in 1894, 101 years ago, if you got that one right, you're a fan. Sherman, he's looking for a bunch. Demo Odoms wide open. He's still going all the way to the 32. Matt Straight wrestles him down. Wide open. And Sherman, he just looks like a pro-style quarterback. Shaw has some room. There is a flag on the play. Shaw runs out of bounds about the 19. Was a holding call. And I believe it was against Rodney Filer in the backfield. The give to Shaw. He's in the open. 
He stuck hard, but he's all the way down to the 31-yard line. Iowa's line is now starting to take over this ball game. Here comes Shaw. Again, he's open. Nice cut by Shaw. He's to the 10 and all the way down to the 7-yard line. Matt Straight grabs him around the shoulder pad. This guy averaged 7.3 yards of carry last year. And here's his first one today. And he slips and gets down to about the 4-yard line. This is the last time you're going to see this series game on this turf. Fabian Banks carries it in for another Hawkeye touchdown. Shaw goes out, Banks comes in, same result, Iowa touchdown. It's 18 to 10, and that's missed too. The Hawkeyes are struggling with the kicking game. Hurley misses, now Romano misses. And the Cyclones, can, that's significant because Iowa State can tie the ball game with a touchdown and a two-point conversion. And the wind is behind him. So this may go to Des Moines. Doesn't quite make it to Des Moines, but it hits the crossbar. Cyclones are going to try to catch Iowa's defense off guard. So it's to the no huddle, at least for this play. They give to Davis. He's in for Chris Jackson. Number 65. And that's only if the scale goes to 335. Because <laughs> he's all of that. Nice tackle by Lloyd Beckham. Very key play here for the Cyclones. Cyclones are 4 of 10 on third down conversions. Like to make it 5 of 11. Doxson finds his man. It's Garrett Bivens. He has been a runner. He was the leading rusher for the Cyclones a year ago. He won't be the leading rusher this year. Doxson, he's going to run this time. He's out to about the 44. That's near another Cyclone first down. It's got to be mentally nice for him knowing that he doesn't have to rush the ball all the time, that he doesn't have to. He can get out of trouble, but he doesn't have to be the man. It should be better on him physically, too, once he shakes off that ankle injury. You know those can be pesky. But the fourth quarter is going to be a lot different in field conditions than it was in the first half. Second down and six. Doxson is going to run it. Slides down to about the 47. Third down and one. The give. Oh. Guggenheim, and I think he ran into a wall. Fourth and one, biggest play of the ball game. Davis. It's going to be close. Yeah, I think he's uh, going to be quite a bit short. Oh, he's he's a he's a good yard short, not even close. Great stand by the Hawkeyes. Shaw. I think uh, just a junior. Second down seven, Sherman to Shaw again. He keeps racking up the yards. Matt Strait runs him out of bounds, but it's going to be a... Shaw gives it the thumbs up for third and four. It's a fake. Sherman looking across the middle. He's got Slutsker. Slutsker bounces off Linkovich's tackle and keeps working. He makes great blocks. Shaw finding more yards any way he can. And almost done with the quarter. Let's see if Sherman beats the quarter clock or just waits for the end of the third. He does snap it. And Shaw somehow seems to make his body get thinner. The Hawkeyes are driving again, holding on to an 18 to 10 lead, looking for 13 in a row. Wipe it up and get ready for first and 10. Come on, Dave, suck it up. Let's go. Here we go. Tavian Banks picks up three or four. Cedric Shaw running the ball seven times for 76 yards in the third quarter alone. They're going to give him a breather. Second and seven, and Sherman is so good at the play faking. For Iowa State, Iowa is keeping the ball moving. Sherman with another beautiful play fake, and what an outstanding play by Dewan Anderson. Who Hawkeyes are going to try to kick. Todd Romano, and this one is good. Smack 
inside the upright, and the Hawkeyes score again to take a 21-10 lead. And they're getting closer to picking up that 13. Romano breathes a sigh of relief. Now he gets to kick off into the wind. We'll find out if he can get it as far right after this, but he can. Troy Davis is one of the return men for Iowa State, and Iowa tries to keep it away from him. Nice grab. Picked up and advanced to about the 35-yard line. Doxson is the quarterback now. First and 10, Cyclones hoping to move the ball. They've stalled out a few times here in the third quarter, or now we're in the fourth quarter. Ball batted down. Play smart ball. Doxson looking to pass. He feels pressure in the pocket. Tries to step up in there. This is where it hurts Doxson to be playing in his first game because he's still adapting to a new offense. He's used to being a running quarterback, so sometimes instinct takes over. That ball thrown to the official. The first, second quarter goes all the way down to the fourth. Mark Harris, no pressure as he punts away. This will not go to Dwight. It's going to bounce. And down by Kevin Wilson about the 24-yard line. Lonnie Rogers back in the dark ages. I think he wore a leather helmet. <laughs> oh, oh. Great play by Rudy Ruffalo. Doesn't happen very often. Second down, 15. The give to Shaw again. He gets, picks up a couple, but it's going to bring down a third and 12. Third and 12. It's an 11-point Hawkeye lead. The answer is no. Greg Schoen. Schoen a nice tackle. Nick Gallery booms one for Iowa. Kevin Wilson looking for room. There's not much there. Picks up a couple of yards. Marquee players and most memorable victories. Call 1-800-764-5441. Troy Davis trying to go wide. Look at him keep his balance. Shakes off another tackler and gets near a Cyclone first down. Ended up 36-21 as Dan McCartney got his first win and jumping offside. I think we appreciate the translation there, Rod. The other one may have been dangerous. Second down and six. And Davis slips down. Third down and eight. Cyclones need a first down. Hawkeyes looking to wrap up another win in the Cyhawk series. Doxson to Ed Williams. And a flag on the play comes in from behind. It was a late flag. Defensive holding. That's a Cyclone first down. Nice conversion by Iowa State. Diaco threatens blitz. Doxson is in a world of hurt. Somehow gets out of there. Doxson is on the loose. He's all the way down to the 33 yard line. That's not nice. The ink was starting to smear. This time, Doxson stays in a world of hurt. Lloyd Bickham. He's really coming on for Iowa right now. Second down and 17. No, Doxson no, no. looking for Williams again. He was open for just a brief moment. Third and 17. Doxson. Intercepted. Damian Robinson. Still going. Cone hits him hard, but Robinson shakes it off. Now he reverses his field. <laughs> Finally concedes defeat at the 31-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 21 for Iowa. This is Shaw adding to the statistics. Nice cut, and he picks up about seven, and we have another flag. 27. Holding the ball game. on the offense. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Still first down. First and 15. It's Shaw again, and Shaw bounces off a tackle. He's got some room. He's up near a first down. 173 yards. What a day for both backs. Most of Davis's yards were on that one carry, and Shaw picks up the first down. And Iowa trying to put a game-sealing drive together with six minutes left to play in the ball game. It's 21 to 10, Hawkeyes. The give to Feimer, and Feimer ripples up to the 40, to the 50, shakes off a tackler, he's down to the 30, the 25, still going, Rodney Feimer. Big run. They've got some weapons, don't they? 
the Hawkeyes loaded up on offense. This is Tavian Banks. He shakes off a tackler. He's down to about the 11-yard line. Must keep Iowa out of the end zone to stay in this ball game. It's Banks. Banks makes a move. He's near the five. Thank you, Mark. We've seen Cedric Shaw and Tavian Banks stay on their feet enough to score, and Banks is close again. He already has one touchdown. There's going to be a lot of young kids who remember this game. Oh, Rodney Filer is piled up at the side at the uh, goal line a, for the Cyclones. Third and two to get to Banks near the goal line, but he doesn't quite get in. It's going to bring up fourth down and goal. I want to drink water. I go to the well. Fourth down. Play fake, Sherman is on the outside. He makes it in, touchdown, Sherman. Thought about passing it, took it on in himself. He can run too. And that's gonna about do it for the Hawkeyes to take a 27 to 10 lead. What an impressive offensive machine Iowa has. I know, for the extra point. And it's no good. When this game is over, you may see the Iowa kickers stay on the field and practice till midnight. Against Northern Iowa, so you got some protections to still work on, some kicking to work on. Romano kicks it away from Troy Davis again. Kevin Wilson will run it up for the Cyclones. He could have got by that one guy. He had some room, but... Uh... Doxon. He's looking for Ed Williams. Williams up near the 50-yard line. And He's looking for stuff down the field. He's so smooth on that pass route. The draw play to Davis. Davis busts out of there. He's got a little room. Legs still turning all the way down near the 30. The Cyclones actually recovered an onside kick with about a minute to play, but then fumbled the ball away on what would have been a chance to win it. Oh, Doxon puts a nice move way down to the 16-yard line and not rushed out of the pocket thinking run he's delivered some nice spirals he's had some nice balls across the middle again Williams the handle, and he's down to the 10 I was gonna say hey he's mortal after all push in the back above the waist on the offense from the end of the run still first down 27 10 Iowa leads it first down and now oh. got the left side of the line thought he made the snap call the offense, five yards still first down and Iowa State has made a few costly mental errors Doxon looking for Hiracic oh almost there in a super play by Damian Robinson Minute 45 to play. Jackson drops back again, steps up in the pocket, delivers the ball behind Williams. Doesn't step up in that pocket, but he's delivered some good footballs. He's thrown some nice passes, like that one. Whoa. No sense in kicking a field goal when you're down 17. Yeah, there's, there's no fourth downs here. You knew you had every play all the way through. Jackson to the corner for Horacek, and... Again, the crowd thinks Horacek is being held and they can make a run for the Roses. We've seen nothing here today to disagree with that. Ryan Driscoll is the quarterback. He takes over for Sherman, not going to risk a late injury to second and three. Clock winding down inside of a minute to play. Driscoll is now the quarterback. And Banks will get his few carries. Banks is a guy and gotten a few autographs. Have him sign some stuff. Rodney Filer smacking pads with about 40 seconds to play. Filer also 113 yards in the day today, so we got some powerful offense out of the Hawkeyes. 200-yard rushers. We said they had a lot of weapons. Sherman's had a big day, too. Not a big day from Tim Dwight. Dwight will have his days, no question about that. It was a clean game, no fighting, no ugly unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. You sometimes have that. Ugly have announcing. Two rivals. Yeah, there was some ugly announcing, but we played hard. We tried hard. One of the, one of the things that is so nice about this is that Hayden Fry spends time with, with the coaches. So much was made of this past week of these two, the time they had spent together, player-coach relationship, coach-coach relationship. The Hawkeyes 
win it 27-10. We'll be back to Cyclone Stadium.